Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Higher Mathematics. Let's try to solve this really interesting exponential equation. As you can see, we have x to the power x equal to 2. On the first side, very simple equation. Yeah, we have all x on the left hand side, our variables. We have like not a huge constant. This is only 2, so it's not like 1000, 100, it's not like a square root. So as you can see, very easy like expression. So what is the correct answer? Right now we can pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. It's really interesting to check our answers. What do you think is a correct answer? Answer to this question. So uh, we need to know about really interesting tricks right here. It's not a, the question as you can see because we have our x right here as a base and our x in our exponent. So it's not like an easy question. We need to know about really interesting two, two really interesting tricks and I'm going to show you these tricks here in this video. First of all, every time when you have power, when you have exponent, doesn't matter, you have a variable, you have a power, you need to know about natural log or log or whatever you want. So in our case, let's apply natural log on both sides. So we have natural log x to the power x equal to natural log, natural log 2. Okay, so right now we apply natural log on both sides. What we're going to do next? Right here, if you know a little bit about this natural log, this x jump right here. So as you can see, we can easily write this x as a product with this natural log x. So we have x times natural log x equal to natural, natural log 2. Okay, so here is our rule, we have something like that, we have natural log a to the power b, and we wrote it as b times natural log a. So it is our rule, we need to know about this rule. I hope you understand this step. It was our first really important trick, and I hope you understand it. What is the second really important trick? You need to know about Lambert W function, and I know a lot of students have difficulties with this function, and I'm going to explain you in easy, staying in easy words, so very easy, I hope you will understand about Lambert W function. So just imagine you have expression like that. For example, imagine you have expression like a times e to the power a, where a wherever is wherever you want expression, doesn't matter, like complicated, not complicated, so a long expression, a short expression, yeah, wherever you want, yeah? And if you apply Lambert W function from this expression, so you need to have e and you need to have like a and a, the same expression right here as a power and as a product, yeah? So if you apply Lambert W function, this is equal to only our a, yeah? So if this is really important moment. This is like a rule about Lambert W function. I try to explain you saying in simple words, and I hope you understand this, this step. This is really important step to understand. This is like second trick. Okay, right now let's look at it. Right here, the first really important step to create this function is to create e, yeah? And right here we have on the left hand side we have x and natural log x. Let's try to create e instead of this x. So let's write this x as uh, e to the power natural log x. So we have e to the power natural log x times this natural log x, natural log x, equal to natural log, natural log 2. So I hope you understand this, uh, this step right here, really important, a uh, really important step. And right now, um, I hope you see this uh, for us, because right here we have e, we have e right here, we have natural log x, it looks like our a, yeah, it is our a, in our mind this is our a, and we have the same power, this is the same a. So we can easily apply, but right here we have a different order a little bit, but we can easily swap this, because we have a product, so we can easily swap this order, Order, and we have the next. We apply a Lambert W function on the left hand side. As a result, we will have like first a, this is natural log x. So we just swap an order a little bit times e to the power natural log x equal to, and if you apply it on the left hand side this Lambert W function, you need to apply it on the on the right hand side. So we have Lambert W function of natural log 2, which is really great because this is a constant. So it's a really great expression on the right hand side. Okay, so right now, as I told before, right here, we have Lambert W function of this expression give us only our a. In our case, a equal to natural log x. So we have like natural log x on the, on the left hand side, equal to Lambert W function of natural log 2. Yeah, as you can see, we, we uh, sub simplify this a lot because right now we have a really great uh, we have a really great expression. We don't have any Lambert W function on the left. We don't have any e. We have only natural log x equal to Lambert W function natural log e uh, natural log two. This is uh, this is our constant. So it's really great expression. But in math, we interested in our x. We had an x right here in the beginning, so we need to find our x. How can we find it? In school, you need to know a really interesting trick. Um, if you apply, uh, if you write base of e on both sides, you can easily do this. So as a result, you will have like something like that. You will have like e to the power natural log x, yeah, 
equal to e to the power lambda w function of natural log natural log 2 okay it is our really important trick we can do this because we apply it on both sides yeah we do this like that on the left hand side and on the right hand side so nothing change for us yeah because if you do this on, on the left hand side only it will be like a really big mistake because you need to do this on both side right now why i do this because right here we have e to the power natural log x and uh, this e and this natural log x in our mind we can easily cancel and this x jump right here so this is like natural log trick natural log property i hope you you remember about this property and as a result we have like right here only our x equal to and this e to the power lambda w function of natural log natural log 2 okay it is our answer and if you look closely at this is maybe a complicated answer because we don't have like uh, like two like three like uh, easy constant we have e we have lambda w function but this is a constant and you can easily find it in in a calculator in a uh, mass library this lambda w function and of course i find it for you i find it for you and x approximately equal to 1.559 this is our answer and of course you can easily check this this is like better answer for, for your exam right here because maybe you you don't uh, allow to use a calculator but for, for us we can easily find it um, with our telephone so we can easily solve it we'll have like 1.559 it is a correct answer to this question but if for exam you just need to know about this it is a absolutely correct answer absolutely correct solution but for us it's really great to know approximately answer because it's yeah it looks, it looks something like that we have 1.5 to the power 1.1.5 it looks like no more than 2 x is not more than 2 because 2 times 2 equal 2 to the power 2 equal to 4 yeah and in our case yeah, something like that 1.559 and for exam this answer is correct so I hope you understand this explanation. We can easily uh, spend 30 seconds uh, go through this question once more real quick. So first one, you need to know about natural log. It's, it's really great to know about it because uh, we can easily bring this x right here. As you can see right here, we bring this x. Second step, Lambert W function. I hope you understand this explanation. This is maybe the easiest explanation, but I, I, I want you to understand it because this is really a great function. So, and really important trick right here, we just create E instead of this x. And right now, like a classic case for Lambert W function because we have because we have a really obvious case but with natural log it's not like x but doesn't matter base of e on both side this x jumps right here and we have we have our answer so this is my explanation to this question i hope you understand this i hope you enjoy this video thank you for your time and have a great day if you still have any question write a question into the comment section and i wish you all the best see you in the next videos